our daily routine most days either one or both of us is at the flower market down in New Covent Garden Market which is in Vauxhall. First day we walked into the flower market I remember going through the swing doors it's just this suddenly in this incredible oasis it's just amazing wild mad place of colour and movement. But they're bitter right? You like them? No I don't. <laughs> yes, I don't like no. them. <laughs> no, I don't like them with that in. I started dancing at the age of two and a half having been to see uh, a Christmas ballet, The Nutcracker, with my parents. And I uh, came out and said that's what I wanted to do. And I went to the Royal Ballet School, age 11, which is where Stephen and I met. Sometimes you just can't find the right thing. I'm looking for golden wedding flowers. I think Mark and I had both realised we were sort of getting towards the end of our career. So you're just doing that on the table centre, just the roses. And we actually looked into opening a restaurant, which, thank God, we didn't do. And I've always had a love, absolute passion for flowers and plants, so I suggested a flower shop. Absolutely gorgeous. So we decided to hook up together and start the business in 1994. The discipline of ballet really translates well <laughs> into this job. That sounds very odd, but obviously the life of a ballet dancer is incredibly di disciplined. You know, if somebody says they want a bunch at 2.45, they get their bunch at 2.45. Our shop is a destination shop now. People come here from literally all over the world now that our books have been published, which is fantastic. When people walk into the shop, I want it to be an experience, but it's just a bit of magic, you know, quite theatrical, like you've walked onto a stage set. I would like them to be able to smell the shop, and I like to think that they, as I used to do years ago before I was a florist, will walk in and be overcome by the scent and the smell and the general ambiance of the shop. Small and large. Small and medium or something. Small and medium, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. I think the, the style of Bloomsbury flowers would be English country garden style. Very seasonal, very textural, mixtures of flowers. The relationship with Mark is fantastic and we are completely opposite, which is brilliant in a shop like this. Stephen loves doing a one-off huge display and then being able to leave him, that's it, and it's all marvellous. You know, he can sit there and do 20 identical table centres for party, which I just eat the thought of. So it works really well because we are very opposite. We complement each other. <laughs> we work for members of the royal family. And we have a very good private client list. Uh, our biggest client are the Firmdale Hotels, and they demand a high standard of work, and I think we deliver that. You know, we've been brought up in the Royal Ballet, which is one of the greatest ballet companies in the world, where the production standards are so high, you know, everything has to be perfect. So, you know, we just don't let things leave the shop unless they're perfect. Hi there. Hi there, guys. One for Kevin. Thank One you. for Marinella for tonight. Thanks very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. See you later. Bye, bye. The book is our second book called Simple Flower Arranging. It's moved on incredibly from our first book that came out in 2011. It's absolutely beautiful. It's basically asking people to look at what they find around the home or what you find in the garden or all around you, things you see every day like tin cans, jam jars, simple things like that. And it's about putting simple flowers in those containers to full effect. All of them can be done by people at home and all of them uh, are ingredients that people can get from their local flower shop or their wholesale market should they want to. And they are based on designs that we like and that we have made and we use in our day-to-day -day life in the shop. And so hopefully we will instill an excitement in people to move on um, from the first book. <laughs>